Hey friends, how are you today? Or should I say tonight? I hope you guys all had a great day. It was beautiful out. Did you guys get outside and play today? So fun. I love hearing kids outside. They're riding their bikes by my house and they're rollerblading and they're swinging. And it is such a joy to hear spring sounds. Even though things are kind of crazy and we're inside and not at school, it still sounds like normal. It still sounds like beautiful fun outside. So I hope you guys are all still feeling well. And thanks for joining me later on in the day. I bet it's almost your bedtime, right? So pretty soon it will be bath and bed so moms and dads can relax. So anyways, friends, I want to talk to you tonight about some things that Jesus called us, some things that Jesus said about us, some things that Jesus taught us to encourage us. Okay, so I'm going to read you the story. Look what I have. Me too. So I'm going to read you the story today from your Spark Bible, that's Miss Erica's favorite, about being the salt and the light. Okay, so this page, salt in the light. And here's the thing about Jesus. Jesus liked to tell stories and teach lessons in kind of unique, cre creative, crazy ways. We have a good, good Jesus, don't we? So he said to people, go and be the salt. So let's talk about salt. Who has tried salt before? Salt, maybe you see it in a salt shaker, right? And you shake it out. What do you put salt on? Hmm, food, right? Do you put it in food? Um, sometimes salty foods are so delicious, right? Salty potato chips or salty sunflower seeds. What else do you put salt on? What are some other foods that taste so delicious with salt? Hmm, popcorn, right? Popcorn. Think about what else we use salt for. What else do you use salt for? Hmm. How about in the winter when the roads are really slippery? They put salt on the road so you don't slip and slide. Or how about some water? Some bodies of water have salt in them, right? So salt is all over. And did you know way back in the old Jesus times, they would make roads out of salt. The Romans would make roads out of salt. Who knew, right? So Jesus tells us in this story, go and be the salt. Hmm. This is a hard story to teach now because I think sometimes people call people salty, right? Maybe if someone's being kind of cranky or someone isn't being a very good friend or acting strangely, you can say, why are you being so salty, right? Have you heard that? Friends, my daughter is salty, salty, okay? But that is not what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying salt, it's teeny tiny little pieces and a little bit of salt, a little bit makes something really delicious. A little bit can make your car from slipping and sliding all over the ice, right? A little bit you put on food and it won't go bad. And Jesus is saying, go, go in the world and be that salt. If all of us together go out and we go and make things just delicious and share the good news, then together we make a big difference. Because now what if I had a bag of chips, okay? Pretend I have some potato chips. 
I wish I did, I would eat them. But if I had potato chips and just went through my salt, poured some salt, and got one teeny tiny piece of salt and put it on my potato chips, could you taste it? No way. It takes a whole bunch of little pieces to make something taste delicious, right? So Jesus is saying, all of us together, you and 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 you, all of us need to go in the world together and then we can make a huge delicious difference. We can go and be the salt of the world. We can go do something. Our tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little part in the world will make a huge delicious difference. Okay, so that's what Jesus is saying. Now, ready for a quiz? Are you ready for a quiz? True or false? Okay, so thumbs up if it's true. Thumbs down if it's false. Jesus wants you to go in the world and be salty to people and give people attitude. True or false? Jesus wants you to be salty. False. False. When you hear Jesus saying, go and be the salt of the world, he's saying, you, teeny tiny little kindness, teeny tiny little love, teeny tiny little hope and help and love can make a huge difference. Okay. And then he says, go and be the light, right? And we talked about this last week with our candle to go and be the light. Now, can you imagine if your whole house had no lights, your big, huge, warm, beautiful, amazing house had no lights, but all you had was one teeny tiny little flame. Could you see all over your house? No, right? Would it be hard if you had your teeny tiny little flame in the kitchen? Would it be hard to see in the dark basement? Yes, but how about if your whole family had teeny tiny little flames? Could you see more? Yes, yes, you could. And that's what Jesus is saying. Just like the salt, the little bit of salt equals something big. That's like the light. That's like the light. You, friends, the little spark you give, the big spark you give, the big light you give makes a huge difference. Your little light shining makes the world brighter. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine and it's going to light up the whole world. For my friends that are in Sioux Falls, tonight we get to go out on our front steps, on our front lawns, and light up Sioux Falls. Now, do you think that if Miss Erica went out on her grass and just held up a flashlight that I could light up the whole city of Sioux Falls? Or this one little tiny light? and held it up. Could I light up the whole city of Sioux Falls? No way. But what about if every single person in Sioux Falls got out into their yard, on their front step, outside in their driveway, and turned on a light? Could we light up all of Sioux Falls? Absolutely. Friends, one little bit of kindness one little bit of compassion, one little, one little act of friendship and love makes a huge difference. If all of us give a teeny tiny amount of love, we're going to have a world full of it, a world overflowing with light and love. And friends, that's what we want, especially now. Days are hard. Raise your hand right now if some of these days have been hard. 
today was hard. We all had work to do. We all are frustrated because we miss our friends and we miss our people and we miss our routines. And it's okay, friends, to say, this is hard. Say it with me. This is hard. It is. It is. And that's okay. Because just like we have God's love and God's light with us, walking with us, friends, we can be that for other people. We can go be that delicious love, that amazing light for other people. We can send a letter to a friend. We can leave a treat on a doorstep. We can tell someone a joke. We can tell someone, hey, Jesus loves you. You can put something in your window that tells the people walking by that, hey, we're in this together. Friends, that teeny tiny little thing is a huge thing. What may seem to you like it's something little is something huge because lots of littles, lots of littles add up to something big. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool to make. Okay, so remember last week we made some bread, Elijah's bread, right? And we used flour and oil and water. Well, we're going to make a recipe like that, but we aren't going to eat this, okay? We're going to make something to remind us that we can be the salt and the light, okay? So I have a bowl here and I put flour in it. I put one cup of flour, okay? One cup. And then I have a half a cup of water. A half a cup of water. So moms and dads, this would be a great project to do tomorrow because we could get some. Oh, we could have math for fractions. We could have some facts for a recipe. We're nailing this, okay? And then salt. Salt. We're going to put one half cup of salt. So Miss Erica, she filled this with one half cup of salt. So I'm going to put this in there. So I have one cup of flour, a half a cup of water, and a half a cup of salt. And I'm going to mix this up. And let me show you what this looks like. It looks a little bit like that bread dough. It looks a little bit like pizza dough. And we're going to just keep mixing it. And it says to mix it for five minutes, okay? So five minutes is a good time in the morning to maybe have your mom have a cup of coffee or take a break while you just sit and mix, okay? See, we're going to mix. Okay, what was the big exciting ingredient in this? What are we learning about? That Jesus calls us the one of the world. The salt. You are right. So once you kind of mix it together, I'm going to invite you to get dirty because that's fun. And we're going to mix this. And it's going to make just a big ball of dough. This is called salt dough. And I know some of you amazing moms out there have been making Easter ornaments out of salt dough. Some of our wonderful preschool teachers, they make ornaments out of salt dough. So really, moms, if you have a recipe that's easier than this for salt dough, go with it. You know what? This is just a foolproof, easy recipe. So flour, water, and salt. Salt. And look at that. Look at that. Just a few of those little ingredients mixed together make something awesome, right? So this is what we're going to do. You can take a hunk of it. Those of you with brothers and sisters or want to share with moms and dads or make it for someone else, this makes a lot. Do you see? This makes a lot. So I'm just going to take a hunk off. Okay. And I am going to make it into a candle holder. Now you can make it however you want. You can smush it down. 
you can smush it down. You can make it like a heart. You can make it like a heart. You can do what ever you want friends that's the beauty of being you that you can be creative and make something however you want jesus says you know what i created you now you go and be the salt in the earth and the light in the earth okay so look at what i made i made a heart okay so now this is gonna dry in a few days three days about Otherwise, your mom or dad can bake it in the oven at 200 degrees, but I'll probably just let mine dry. And when it dries in a few days, you can paint it, you can color it with Sharpie. But this is what you're going to do before it dries, is you're going to get a candle. You're going to get a candle and stick that in there. Can you see that? Miss Erica got a candle. And I, so I made a heart to stick my candle. Actually, it kind of looks like elephant ears, doesn't it? Whoa, was it elephant nose? Okay, no, this is a heart. And then when it dries, friends, you will have your own candle holder. You will have your own candle holder to sit on your table. Let me see here. Let me see here. There, do you see it? Do you see it as a reminder? that you are the salt and the light. Jesus says, go in the world and be the salt and the light. Go in the world, go in the world and sprinkle that delicious salt, sprinkle the love of Jesus, tell everyone and go. And this little light of you, this little light of me, we're going to let it shine and light up this world. Tonight in Sioux Falls, our lights are going to light up this whole city. And friends, your love, your light can light up this whole world. It can light up the lives of your friends or neighbors. It can light up strangers' lives. You go and be the salt in the light friends that is good good stuff isn't it so if your moms and dads say yes you make that salt dough let it dry or bake it dry and color it color it with the greatest most creative designs and colors and then light your candle and be reminded like jesus says in matthew go and be the salt and the light. And as always, I want to see your pictures. It's my favorite. Okay, so friends, I'm wondering if I should get you all riled up before bed. I'm wondering if I start playing my accordion that you guys will not go to bed. Hmm. What do you think? Yoga and go to sleep or accordion and be crazy? What do you think Miss Erica's going to pick? You're right. Okay, so look at I have salt dough on my hands. I'm gonna really quick blow out that flame. Okay, so we are going to woo! We're going to, as always, we are going to warm up our bodies with the accordion. So we are going to start with one arm up and one arm down, like this. So every time I play, you gotta go walk. Wah, wah. Okay, okay, are you ready? Ready? Oh, that was a good squeak. Okay. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna, my computer's flying all over the place. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. Every time I go like this, you're gonna go salt. And when I go down, you're gonna go light. Okay. Hey, does God want you to be salty? No, he wants you to go and be the salt. Okay, ready? Salt! Light! Ready? Salt! Light! Again, 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 louder, as loud as you can! Are you crazy? Are your neighbors here and you'll be so crazy? Okay, now we're gonna do... Okay, sit down, stand up. 
Sit down, stand up. Are you ready? Who? Who's out of breath? Who's hot? Who's crazy? Okay, now we're going to sit and then lay down. Okay, so sit, lay down. Good night. Good night. Good night. Wake up! Sit! Okay, ready? Lay. Sit! Lay! Whoa! Lay! Sit! Lay! Whoa! Okay, now we're going to do one more. We're going to do, oh, we're going to make a heart. So we're going to do heart. Thumbs up. Heart. Thumbs up. Okay, ready? Ready? Heart. Thumbs up. Heart. Thumbs up. Heart. Thumbs up. Woo! You guys, you're really, really good for this late at night. Okay, so friends, remember, go out right now especially little bit of love, little bit of kindness adds up to something really deliciously magnificent. So go, go in the world and be the salt and be the light. As always, I want to see pictures. I want to see pictures if you're in Sioux Falls, if you lighten up the night. I want to see pictures of your salt though. I want to see pictures of your candle holders. I want to see you reading your Bible. Friends, Miss Erica wants to see it all. Okay. So are we ready to sing? Do we want to sing? Okay. So we're going to really quickly be quiet. Is everyone quiet? Pretend you're sleeping. Your mom and dad are going to think you're in bed. Snore loud. Snore loud. Snore loud. Snore loud. Snore loud. Snore loud. Wake up. Okay, good. Are you ready? We're going to do Jesus Loves Me. So I want you to sign it with your hands and sing it with your voice. Okay? Are you ready? Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Hooray! Friends, are you guys so happy that Miss Erica's voice still sounds like a frog? I've been in the house for so many days and I still sound like a frog. Crazy. Friends, before we pray, remember to go in the world. Go next door. Go right to your kitchen or your basement. Be kind. Be loving. Be helpful. Be salt. Be light. Let us pray. Are you ready? Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for another week to learn, to spend time with our families, to enjoy time at home, to not rush around, and to learn about you and how you have everything figured out and how we should trust you. And that we should go in the world and be kind and tell others about you and let our light, your light, shine. Thank you to everyone working in the hospitals, in the grocery stores, in the daycares, everywhere. Help us to stay healthy. Help us to stay safe and help us to remember that we are never alone. You are with us. We love you, Jesus. And all God's children said, Amen again. All God's children.
Hunter and Son. Amen. Awesome. Friends, I'm so glad that you joined me, even though it was later in the day. I was looking forward to this all day. You, you are my light. You are the bright spot in these hard days. Friends, stay well and remember, Jesus loves you. Miss Erica loves you. See you tomorrow. Bye.